So guys, welcome to the channel. Definitely glad you're here. This is a sweetie video, something we haven't done for a few days. And, you know, I am trying to go around a little bit to diversify because I don't want this to be a strictly sweetie channel. But, but, there's a few things I want to talk about today. Number one being the post that I posted on the community tab where Sweetie sends some unsavory sexual thing to one of our community members. He has this thing with sexual harassment and holding people down. I don't know if he's rapey, but I think he's rapey. Now, I can't prove these things. These are just my opinions. I can't prove it. But he did post that. And we have receipts. We had the receipt from that, and we had the receipt where we posted the video of him being a creep. He does this a lot. He does this a lot. I'm pretty sure of it. This is this is something he regularly does. Again, I can't prove it, but I'm assuming. Allegedly. But anyways, I don't understand the whole, I'm going to hold you down, you want to take this D thing. What What's up with him wanting to spread his D everywhere? I don't understand that. I mean, he threatened to have sex with me right in front of the police and the whole world saying he'll be on top. He has a thing where he says he's going to be on top. What we all know, at the end of the day, he's a power bottom. That's what he is. He's not a power top. He's a power bottom. Now, I actually just learned what a power bottom is. I never really knew that. So I, I had a friend of mine who told me about it. And I was like, oh. Well, he is a power bottom. I, I guess it, I guess you're right. But he is. He says he's this big alpha. Big alpha, big dude. And one of the things I want to start out with... Well, we already started. So, Sweetie likes to challenge people to fight. Rather it be in an arena, a cage, a wrestling mat, or something along those lines. And one of the things he always says is... You need to sign papers to make it, you know, official. That way nobody's breaking the law. Well, well, and there's some several people that's challenged Sweetie outside of those stipulations. And he kind of backs away. He's he's He acts all big and bad until somebody says, hey, let's do this for real. Then he kind of backs off. But we have something... And you guys have been paying attention. I know you have. Our uh, police captain here in Ironton, Chad Gu, recently, I think it was, looks like 12 days ago, maybe before that. This is I'm, I'm just reading some of the, the me messages here. So, Chad said he would challenge him. Challenge him. He said he would. He said he'd do that and he'd do it for charity. He said he'll do it under those stipulations. He will sign papers. And all that stuff. Now, one of the things, like I said, Sweetie likes to challenge people to fight. And this is a police captain. So he should want to jump at this. He, he should want to do this. Since he's so big and bad and alpha, and he thinks he can beat anybody that comes up to him, which we'll, we'll, we'll give you some examples. So 12 days ago here on, uh, S Sweetie po made a post and... Uh, Chad sent a message to him, say, "Hey, I, you know, I'll challenge you, and you know, we'll we'll do it for a mutual cause." Sweetie's first reply: "Yes, I am. Yes, I love this. Yes, way to step up. At least you're getting in shape. Good for you." Now he didn't accept any challenge there. He didn't really hear anything. Then, 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 Sweetie says, "It won't matter how good of shape." I'll bounce off the bounce off the he can't type. I I'll bounce off the ground if we're able to enter the tough man contest. He said that. So Chad said, "Hey, I'll have a promoter get with you." Sweetie has another post. You simply won't have the technique necessary. Sorry, dude. You can run and be in the best shape you want. It wouldn't matter. I think there's a tough man contest coming up. More than willing to join it and take you on. So, Sweetie doesn't want to do just a boxing match. He, Sweetie thinks he's going to beat 
Chad's ass in a tough man contest. Well, okay. So Chad says, guess we'll see. I'm all about charity. If you truly, if you are truly civic minded, then work with me to make this great. All right. So time has passed. Time has passed. Sweetie did say, hey, uh, my phone number is everywhere. You have your promoter reach out to me. Ten days ago, Chad, the promoter will get you with, get you with you this week, I believe. If not, let me know. I'll get on them. We'll make this great for the area. All right. Now, the last time I checked this, this was the timestamp was three hours. This was several days after the fact. Promoter is trying to get a hold of you. Guessing he's messaged you on Facebook. So, sweetie says he will accept this. He will accept this. And Chad has put together quite a good thing. This is going to be a big thing in this area. Just to say, this is going to be a big thing. Sweetie wants to prove himself he would accept it. He would take the promoter's call or Facebook message and be a man. Instead, he's hiding. Now, his audience will simp and say, he's too busy. He would knock the hell out of Chad. He's so powerful. He's so alpha. That's what, he'll, that's what his audience will say. Because for some odd reason, they love to simp for him. I don't get it. They like to do that, and they love to give him money for some reason. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. But where are you? What, what are you doing? Why are you not stepping up? I see you online all the time. You're constantly making videos. Chad has said he's been trying to reach out to you. The promoters are trying to reach out to you. Here's your chance to fight a cop. Since you hate cops, this is the best thing you could ever possibly want. And if you think you can kick Chad's ass, which I seriously fucking doubt it. Seriously fucking doubt it. And I'm just going to say that. I seriously doubt it. I mean, since you, you know, you have all the power and all the skills, why don't you put your words where, words where your mouth is? Play. Play. Fight. Quit being a pussy. Reply. Now, he'll probably say, hey, I, I don't have time for this. I, I'm not going to do this. I'm above this. I would I would win by default. I'm the alpha. I would be on top. And he'd probably chat. He'd probably say things to Chad like he said to me and the other community members where he says he wants to be on top of them. That's what he does. When somebody calls him out, he immediately goes with the rape threats. Allegedly. We do have receipts, by the way. He does do that. <laughs> I, I, I seen something funny. I was, I was watching Mass Report, and somebody has made parody accounts. And I guess Sweetie's already threatened to sue these people because they made parody account. I don't know if you can sue somebody for making a parody account because that would be fair use in a freedom of speech thing. Um, I mean, if the if I would say maybe if it was delete laws and it's spelt the same way. And you called yourself Chili De Castro, then there's probably a problem with it, and that's probably a copyright thing. But as far as a parody goes, you can basically do what you want. It's parody. It's parody clause. You know, freedom of speech. And I mean, there's no content issues there. I mean, I I literally make parody videos all the time about Sweetie. Are you going to sue me? Because, sweetie, if, if you're going to sue somebody that makes fun of you, you have a lot of people to sue, man. I'm, I'm just going to tell you. You have a lot of people you need to start signing those papers. You need to you need to start doing this. Get on this, boy. Get on this. I know you don't like to be called boy. Apparently you think it's racist, which... No. Stop. Stop, sweetie. But here's the thing, like, 
Are you going to accept this? Are you going to accept the promoter? Are you going to step in and be a man? Are you going to fight? Or are you just going to walk away? Are you? I mean, if you walk away, you're going to look really bad. I'm just going to say that. You're going to look terrible. I mean, if you have this big ego and you say your channel is going to make 100,000 followers by the end of the summer, which... You know, congratulations, you hit 40,000 followers. Congratulations. Glad you got there. Glad you got there. You know, I, I'm not going to tear you down because you have followers. I can't prove those are all real followers. Same reason, way you can say, I don't have real followers. We can, we can play that game all day. We can play that game all day. Allegedly. Allegedly. But stop, stop with the whole rape, rape stuff. I, I, I know you're alpha and you think the best way to get your point across is saying you're going to give somebody the D or be on top of them or having sex with their butts. We all know you're a power bottom. We all know that. Allegedly. But... Again, you need to you need to step up and be a man. Stop being a pussy. Stop being a pussy. Stop running away from it. This is your chance. This is your chance. Put your money where your mouth is and do this. Do it. And if your audience wants to simp and say, oh, he can't do it because he's too alpha, or he doesn't have time, he's too busy saving the world, from terrorisms. What? What the hell, man? What is your deal? I think it's funny. I think it's funny. I, I, I think it's funny. So you're going to have to accept this. You already told Chad you was going to do it. So you're going to do it. Now, when you get your ass kicked, and you will get your ass kicked, it's going to happen. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know you think you're Bruce Lee or Chuck Norris or Muhammad Ali. You're not. I would like to see some video footage proving that you're this alpha MMA guy. I, I'd love to see that. It, you know, if, if that exists, that exists and, you know, you're beating some dude's ass... You know, good on you. Good on you. But I have looked, and I've not seen this. I've not seen this. I had a member of your community say, look up his MMA stuff. I've looked. I've not seen this. So if you got it, show it. Don't be afraid. Be a sport. Accept the challenge. Talk to the promoter. It will be fun. It'll be fun. Whoever wins, wins. It doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, you'll get your clout. You'll get your clout. And I know that's what you want. If if you win, I mean, this should be an ego boost. This should make you skyrocket in viewers and subscribers. This would be good for you. If you lost, it'd be the opposite. But are you willing to make that risk? Or are you going to run away and not talk about it again? Because that's assume, that, a lot of people is assuming this at this point. And don't say you haven't had time. You've had time. People has been trying to reach out to you. So be a man and do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, keep an eye out, guys. Uh, Chad has been training pretty well this guy he's a good guy i'm just gonna tell you uh i haven't known him very long um and he's he he's pretty level-headed and you know i like him pretty well and you know from everything i've heard about him in this area in terms of you know him being a, a just a stand-up dude for you know justice system i've heard just nothing but good things about him and you know the People's word around here does mean a lot. This is a small town. 
And, you know, if you do something bad, people will want to know. We're not perfect. We're not. But this community has a sense of pride when it comes to people's words. Yes, we have problems. We do have problems. But this is a good community. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys very soon.